porch sit in the morning. The new house. First official porch sit. The new house. Nice. No, 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 you guys stay. Back up, back up. All right, let's go see the yard. It helps if you unlock the door before you try to open it. So, right outside our house here like I was showing you last night we got our camper here we're moving this today taking this to our land outside of town getting it out of the way here and uh, this is our backyard here we still got all of this to take away this is all pretty much garbage I think I think we're keeping that table those chairs a lot of this is garbage I've got to haul away hopefully this week and see, we have a fence that's ours on this side of our property here. We got these two sheds back here. But that doesn't go all the way around our yard. So we need to build the fence to make it go all the way around. We got these two big sheds. I don't know why, but they have the door facing this way on this shed. I gotta get the key. I forgot the key inside, but... Yeah, and then our yard goes just to the other side of this shed here. Right over here, out that way, just to that side. We're getting this out of here too, eventually, uh, as soon as possible. Just to make more space, that's all gonna be grass and lawn. Fence is gonna come around back there, go around behind the sheds there, and connect with our other fence over there. And that's our nice little backyard. I think I sort of wanna get rid of this tree this tree's an apple tree and it looks like they did a good job picking all the apples off but every year we're gonna have it all the apples just fall onto the ground here and then they sit here and rot if we don't pick them and the dogs could eat them and I don't know if that's good for them to eat rotten apples on the ground but I don't want to have to spend all year picking apples all the time so I don't know if this tree will stay or not it's also getting very close to the uh, cables for the internet I go like right through it there like that's the power line going to our house up there. That's not touching any trees. It's not it's getting a little close up there, but eventually that's going to become a problem as this tree grows taller. So, and all these are just cables for internet. I don't really like that the tree is right in its path. Probably take this tree out and take it down. We've also got another dead tree back here. This one's ours, but this tree here is dead. And it's huge. So we're going to have to hire somebody who knows what they're doing to come in here and fall this thing so that it doesn't land on anything. Yeah, this is our little backyard. That's it. No more spending all day walking across the property. So the door to get out here is on the side. And I kind of wish we had a, a door on the back of the house to get into the backyard, but we don't. So what we're doing is we're building the fence that goes all the way around the yard. Comes around the other side of this camper here. All of this cement here is being pulled out. And then it's going to... Uh, the fence is going to come from over there and meet our house right here between this window and that door. So that you can walk out of this door. And this will all be grass here then. Directly into the yard. We just let the dogs out to run in the yard and not have to worry. But right now we have to walk them on a leash every time so gets a little tedious we're hoping to get the fence built this year yet 
But it looks like most people are booked up for the rest of the season. We might have to do it in spring. I've got a very slow leak on my back tire on the passenger side of my pickup. Very slow. Once every two weeks, I gotta add a bit of air in here. Can't even really tell, but I got those sensors in here that tell me when it gets a little low. So, uh, I gotta get this fixed yet. But it's not that big a deal yet. Every two weeks, adding a little bit of air. Meh. I was, I was gonna wait until we got all uh, settled in and everything at the new house and then take care of it then. Timmy, Tim Timonies. The state cannot officially begin without Timmy's. So like I was saying, the plan for today is uh, my mom and my sister are going to meet us at our house and we're all gonna go down to the land. I haven't showed them the land yet. I haven't showed you either. So we wanna show all of you guys the land that we got and uh, bring the trailer there. That's where we're gonna keep it. Uh, we gotta set up a couple of uh, security measures for it this week yet and uh, it'll be fine. We'll bring that down there today, come back here. We gotta organize some of our storage, bring some stuff to my dad's shop. And then in the evening, probably relax, just watch a movie. Take it a little bit easy today because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are going to be rush, rush, rush. Tuesday we're going into Winnipeg. So that's the whole day right there. And we've got to get this truck, the financing on this truck taken care of. It's all going to be paid off and 100% mine. The financing on Brit's terrain will be finalized on Tuesday as well. That'll be paid off. And we've got to get the train serviced on, on Tuesday as well. Could I get a large coffee with uh, two cream and a shot of espresso? For sure, can I get you anything else for today? And a small ice cap with a pumpkin shot? For sure. And was that everything for today? That's it. Sounds wonderful, that up under 605 or come under please. Super duper. I tried with more enthusiasm that time. Still didn't work. I'm a little tired today, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll get a better sleep tonight and tomorrow I'll come here and put some real enthusiasm, super duper. Maybe that'll get an awesome possum. Then again, I keep going to the same Timmy's and if I'm not finding anyone to say awesome possum at this Timmy's, I should probably try the other Timmy's in town. I think there's two more drive throughs I could try. Maybe we'll go to a different one tomorrow. Off we go. Taking the big guys to the land and the camper. Our lot here is a little too small to store everything. So we figure we'll bring the trailer out to the piece of land. We'll probably use it while we're developing it. A little place to escape to. Brought the boys along so they can run around a bit. Mostly it's for the boys. <laughs> or are we kidding? <laughs> yeah, mostly that. At least we'll have the camper there so that when we go there with the boys to let them run around, we got somewhere to go stay cool and make some food. Somewhere safe in yeah. case there's a, a bear or a Sasquatch. Or True, yeah, we hear there's a lot what. of bears out there. It's a bit of a windy day, so excuse the wind noise, but we're here. So there's a driveway in already, and we have a shed on our property. But other than that, this is it. Goes a long ways that way yet, and a long ways back. And sort of has this open clearing that was cleared at one point to build a house but that was probably about 10 years ago or so because all of this bush has grown up a little bit here we're going to clear that all back down and put our house in here eventually here's the land Ooh, i forgot shoes <laughs> i wore slippers it's been a day well you're at home first might as well be comfortable. Diesel. Oh, he's back there already. Come here, bud. Come here. Checking things out. Hey, bud. Go around. There you are. It's our new land. <laughs> oh, he almost wiped out. <laughs> Not exactly the smoothest ground yet. It's a real test. Good boy. Are you happy? You like it? This is where you're gonna come to run. Yeah. 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 All of this area in here yet 
This is all gonna be cleared down, all the way up to those tall trees there. This is all gonna be one big open space. We're gonna plant some lawn. And for now, we'll leave this here. And I'll come back to level it out sometime later this week and clear down some of this stuff. And we'll get some of this long grass cut down. Diesel loves it though. Well, we got the camper set up here, having our first little sit out here. Sit out, it's not really a camp out, but sitting and enjoying the land. So we got a little ways out that way, but the majority of the property is out this way. It's all bush and trees. Like I said, this whole area was cleared at one point. I'm gonna clear it again. I'm gonna get a skid steer and just knock it all down again. Diesel, you wanna come see? Look at all the land. It's all ours, buddy. I'm gonna build our dream here. So this is still all of the clearing. See those big trees back there? This is one big rock right here. I have to move that. So I'm thinking our house is gonna be around this area here somewhere. Right. We're getting a uh, uh, we've got hydro coming in here, and uh, water will be probably in spring, but we're setting up a security camera system on the lot here, so smile, you're on camera, even when I'm not vlogging. Diesel, come here. Come here, bud. Let's go check out the bush. Remember how we were going to build trails in the last place? We're going to build them here now instead. We're in a much better financial place to do it. We've got a really good deal on this land really good this land was well, it's hard to tell what land is worth but judging by other land in the in the region i feel like we paid like half price for it maybe a little over because i guess the guy really wanted to get rid of it i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's beautiful land the guy just used it as a uh, a camping lot i think when he went hunting and he would use this land to uh he had a camper here himself I think he would just stay here overnight on his hunts. I'm not too sure. All poplars. So no more of those uh, jack pines, northern pines. We now live in a forest of poplars. Right, Diesel? And every time I come home, we're gonna come here and go for a run. Diesel, what do you think, man? Is it good? Is it good enough, man? Still inspecting it, man. Still inspecting it. This is my first time here. Give me a chance to look around a bit. It's very nice. Very nice smell. It's no beavers, I don't think. It's nice. Yeah, we don't have a creek running through this lot like we did in the last lot. So we don't have to worry about those pesky beavers chewing down all my trees. But we do have to worry about uh, bears more than we did at the last place. This is a little bit further out into the wild. Uh, that was the, the area where we lived was getting developed and very fast a lot of new homes were being built like hundreds of new homes were being built in that area growing really quickly so we decided to get out and we moved further away into the wild but we were told that there are black bears around here which isn't that scary just don't catch one off guard and don't go and pet their cubs yeah okay, it's not a good idea a little bit of dead fall we're gonna have to clean up but not nearly as much as the old place and all the leaves have pretty much fallen down here already, but in summertime, like when we came here to look at the lot, when we were thinking of buying it, this is all a beautiful canopy of trees. You'll see it next year. Diesel, I see you over there. What do you think, man? We're gonna leave most of this forest standing. I think we're gonna clear a little bit more of it here to make the clearing a little bit bigger. But who knows, our plans will change. We're planning on building in uh, a couple of years or a few years, whenever we're able to i never want to get into a situation where i'm so stressed out again it's, it's not like we were like tight like gonna lose everything like we didn't go bankrupt or anything we weren't that tight but it, it was uncomfortable and i didn't like it i had to had to had to work hard as hard as i could just to keep up with everything and you know when we have kids i want to be able to spend more time at home and enjoy my life with my family and i'll have to worry so so much all the time and now like both our vehicles are paid off. We got the nice house in town there and we got this land to develop and uh, you know, 
our monthly weight on us, our monthly bills, are less than half what they were before. So you'll be seeing a lot of this place when I'm at home. Weasel. Weasel. Tell the good people. It's actually very nice. Very nice. Very nice, man. A few things need to be done to make it a little more homey. Yes. I do a little decorating, but... But the important thing is that there's already a driveway in place, right to the road. Uh, and it's already set up, pretty much. So we didn't have to put a driveway in, which saves us a lot of money, right? On the initial, right off the hop. Come on, bud. Diesel, come on. And while I'm walking through the bush, I'm always looking for fresh bear droppings. Just in case. I haven't seen any yet, so that's probably a good sign. There we go. There they are. They emerge from the wilderness. From their natural habitat. Oh, oh, oh. So this tin shed that he left here, uh, I asked him to leave it here if he wanted to. There's a bunch of other junk on the land that he had to take off the land, or that I asked him to. <laughs> this left a lock on it. I guess I'm gonna have to cut that off, but you can still get in here, because I mean the shed's not in that great a shape. But it is some kind of storage at least, right? It's something. I thought that this had some value to it anyways. I can fix that door and and use this for a little bit of storage. I mean, it's a little bit, mm, you know, but eh, eh, it'll work. Like a weasel in his natural habitat. You like it? Chevy, where are you? I thought you were around here somewhere. Chevy? Chevy? Maybe he went back over here. Diesel, come on. There he is. Right here. I see him, and I'm right here too. Come on. Oh, Get him. Get him. Okay, boys, why don't you run? Go, 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 go! Go, Diesel, go! This way, Diesel, Chevy. Come here. Come here, Diesel. Diesel, come here. So there's quite a bit of work to do yet, but that's the fun part, right? We left the little guys at home. They'd probably just get lost in all this. 
and they don't need to run as much as these guys. They can get their energy out in the smaller yard. Come on, Chev. Diesel's over here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Kinda got his character. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Yeah. My get stick. it, Weasel. Did you stick? Get it, Weasel. Oh. Can't oh, get it off. <laughs> I'm on camera. Shoot. <laughs> and just start Diesel. running circles around the and then he'll grab a toy and start shaking it. Like Diesel, down. what do you got? Diesel, go. Oh. Don't show Oma. Go show Dad. Diesel, come here. Come here. Dad. What do you Dad. got there? Can I see it? Can I see it? No. <laughs> They've been fighting over that like for the past hour. Yeah. So. They take turns chewing on it. Go get a Chevy. Get a Chevy. Well, first visit to the land Did went you well. Fun? Yeah. You guys have fun? Diesel smiles. <laughs> Ready to go. All right. Back at the house, eh, Chev? Feeling good? How come your collar's lit up? Your collar's on again, man. One second. Come here, bud. You actually don't need this on when you're in here. There you go. They have these light up collars for when uh, they're outside or I guess on the land now. At night, you can see where they are. And during the day, they serve as reflective collars. People can see them. You're tired, buddy. <laughs> as soon as you got home. Look at that easel over there, too. Just out. You're the youngest. You got a little more energy. Look at the old man over there. And the other old man. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, that's where we're going to be spending a lot of our time in summer. Unfortunately, fall is upon us. As you can see, most of the leaves have fallen off here already. And... Cold weather is setting in, so you know what that means. You know what's coming. I'm not even going to mention it, but we'll still go out there to check on it uh, in the winter time. We got to make sure that uh, everything is still a okay over there. That uh, uh, the weather and rodents and animals don't get into it. Uh, we're not sure uh, what the mice and squirrel situation is there yet, but we will find out pretty quickly, I'm sure. We're taking some uh, preventative measures to make sure that they don't make a home of our camper while it's out there, but nature will be nature. What can you do? There's only so much you can do, so we'll try our best. Get that whole area cleared out. Uh, usually, if you at least keep the, the area around it clear, it helps keep them away, because these little critters don't like running through the open as much, but they still do. So, like I said, nature will be nature. We can All we can do is just Take as many preventive measures as we possibly can uh, so that uh, we at least try to keep them out. And other than that, I mean, cameras and whatnot to uh, catch any activity that happens on the land that shouldn't be happening. We put up signs, no trespassing, so people understand now that it's private property. If they didn't understand that before, well, the new owners are in town. It's private property. So we put up signs clearly stating that. So. Other than that, it's uh, it's all set up there. Well, it's all ready. It's not all set up, but it'll be a nice little project for next summer. That's for sure. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be hanging out some more, getting some more stuff done. Uh, today was Sunday, so we just relaxed for most of the evening. But tomorrow, uh, Britt's got to work in the morning. And uh, I'm going to be running around getting all the last couple of things done yet. Actually, it's not the last thing. Th things are never done. There's always things to do. I'll see you then, though. I'll make another video tomorrow for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button or the dislike button. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.